Hi, it's Jeff again with slightly better lighting, still working that out, but um, I have changed my setup again in what I think is a pretty powerful way, uh, in a very interesting way, so I'm posting a video of my new setup. I know a few of you are actually following me, so I thought I'd show you what I've got. Enjoy. Hi, my setup has changed yet again, and I thought I would share it with you. This is, of course, my frame drum rack, which will always stay the same. And my drip pan, which is a wonderful hand drum. Uh, above that, there is a, I believe it's a, it's a 20 inch Sabian China, and a 14 inch Sabian Crash. Above that is a Wuhan 8 inch splash. Lots of stacking going on. Uh, next to that is my Ozo 16 inch crash, which is wonderful. And above that is my Ozone splash. 10 inch, beautiful symbol. And above that is the highest Pice D accent symbol. We move down. <clears throat> we have my wonderful Tree Works chimes. Fits wonderfully. And my snare drum is now right here. Next to my hi-hat. And it's not in position yet because I haven't got my bass amp back. But if you look at the little wood block right here. This is called a stomp box. And it makes a bass drum like sound. When I get my bass amp back, it's going to sound fantastic, and I'll have a little miniature drum kit in the midst of all this. Next to that is my new Gonbops small table. I have not found a place for it yet, but I know I will because it's wonderful. My shaker table is pretty much the same way it's always been. Above that, I have, of course, a Wrangle Rod, a B8 Pro 8 inch splash, a B8 6 inch splash, and boy, 6 inch splashes are hard to find nowadays. <clears throat> Next to that, I have an LP cowbell and my Sambago bells. Uh, above that is this wonderful Wuhan linear symbol that's like five sided and it's just nasty, 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 wonderfully nasty. And then I have my uh, 14 inch B8 Pro Crash. I will be upgrading those at some point. And underneath, of course, always I have my Decabons. Beneath that, I have um, a Cyclops tambourine and a Mini Tim. Next to that, if you have a Timbali, you have to have a Cowbell and a Piccolo jam block. Next to that, I have actually moved my 13 inch Temp Tom. And I still hate the way it sounds, but I'm trying to figure out how to tune it right. Above that, I have my wood blocks and some wrangle rods, tambourines, uh, triangles, rather, my wonderful Wuhan 5 inch gong. And above that, I have uh, the smaller accent symbol and the smallest accent symbol. A couple of wrangle rods. Next to that I have my tambourine. This is largely a hand tambourine because this is where my setup has really changed. I've added my hand drums. Uh, above that I have the lowest accent symbol. 
and my little ice bell. <clears throat> and I've moved my black color sound crash from high school here because it sings wonderfully by hand. The reason I did that is, right next to it is my compact conga. And this is a wonderful little instrument. Below that is my 12 inch dumbback. Next to that is my Stanton Moore Pandero, which I'm still working out the tuning on. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Next to that, I finally mounted my djembe. Next to that, I have finally mounted my water bottle. Next to that is my tokahone. And up above with this wonderful Rock Band 3 keyboard stand, my Minel Bongo Cajon. To the left of that is, of course, <clears throat> get the mallet. A wonderful 14 inch tiger gong. Which just sings wonderfully. And under that, my trash stack. Love it. <clears throat> uh, moving to the right, I've increased the size of my toy table. And I have things like these weird little hand things. And lots of little little things I can play with, um, <clears throat> including a bell. There we go. Got that in a shot. <clears throat> Above that is another Rock Band 3 keyboard stand with my tambourines. And there is a rod there waiting for something to mount, which is a wonderful thing. Next to that is my PVC rack, which is just for uh, found sounds. Again, this is from a gas stove. And then I have this wonderful bowl. And I will have more of those. And this, again, is um, a trash can I bought at Big Lots for, like, nothing. That has a very Asian-sounding gong sound, and it sounds great on top. Next to that is an actual weed eater blade, which makes a nice sound. And next to that is um, something I had at Walmart for like nothing. It's for barbecue forks, but if you hit it here, you get one sound. If you hit it at the bottom, you get another sound. It's a wonderful thing. And of course, my chains. And my keys, which I normally play by hand. So I have lots of sounds at my disposal, and I love them. My frame drums, or rather, I'm sorry, my hand drums are down here. My harmonicas are next to them. I basically have just about every sound I could want, and I am not wanting for anything. So if you're interested in playing with me, please let me know. Enjoy.